All right, friends, Fujifilm X Summit Tokyo 2024 time. We are just about to start and I am very excited to see what's gonna happen. I don't expect a crazy amount of stuff based on what we've heard, but there's probably gonna be the camera we're all waiting for. So let's see what's up. Goto, let's hear what you have to say. Making some notes. 90 years. You kind of forget we how big of a deal Fujifilm is until you think about they've been making film for 90 years. They've been in this industry, they're, like, they're kind of like the, the sad little brother in the corner compared to like Canon and Sony and Nikon in a lot of ways. But then you remember like, oh, 90 years of making like incredible products, changing like the world with their products. It's crazy. I'm pleased to introduce you to our newest What's it gonna be? premium compact camera in a flagship X100 X100 something. Ooh, there it is. X100 something. Thank you. Fifth I'm going gen to sensor. What are we gonna know? What are we gonna know? Sell your X100 piece quick. Ah, oh, Yuji, I love this dude. Uh, I don't know those two people, but Yuji's dope. I like watching him talk. Hello, everyone. We know this Yuji. Yuji. We love you. From Fujifilm. Damn. What's it gonna be? F? V? V1. Ah, oh, they're just calling it the 6. They're not calling it the X100R. That's a wise choice. Everyone would think it stands for resolution. Damn, though. That's a nice looking camera. I mean, it looks the same. It's nice. A couple little cool things changed. <laughs> this music. <laughs> oh, I love it. Hi, everyone. I'm Justin Staley from the Global Product Planning Team. And I'm going to explain the details of the X100 6. First, here is the product overview of the new and exciting X100 6. It utilizes a fifth generation sensor and processor plus a newly developed IBIS unit. Complete with AI autofocus and 6.2K video, it has evolved significantly from the previous model. Now, you may be wondering about the technical advancements of the X100 6. What's up? Please allow me to introduce them. First of okay. all, let's get into the most Morty important Meg aspect. Sensor. That's that dope. Film, that is really sick. You can get 40 mil? The past five years. I mean, the same that's pretty awesome. So you got a 35 millimeter equivalent but you can punch in, this so it's kind of like having a, whatever, if you're gonna zoom in because of the extra resolution, let's say a 50 mil as well, and still look really good. There are various performance improvements with the X Processor 5, but the enhanced autofocus is a point that we think will benefit users at all levels of photography. The newest autofocus algorithm it is good. It is solid. Like anyone who hasn't used it, but has used a previous Fuji film, is going to feel like this autofocus is like night and day. With these advances in hardware and software, we were able to incorporate a small but powerful image stabilization system. I wonder if it's going to be any better for video. Of the X106 increases with IBIS, giving more freedom. I mean, for might be. I don't know. We imagine this being That'd be cool. I'd like to see their video IBIS get better. It comes with 6.2K, 422 10-bit internal recording, and includes oh, damn. Tracking touch auto track. Moreover, you can connect That's it to awesome. frame I.O., camera to cloud. Yo, why don't we have touch track on the X-H2S? That's insane. Battery life. However, the X Processor 5's power saving performance Boost is brings a the reality of what you're in shooting, the right? NP so, Boost is all I care about. B yet is able to shoot slightly more frame. 310 LCD. I mean, it sounds like a good camera, right? Like, it sounds like it's it's getting across a lot of what people wanted out of it. So that's cool. I mean, that's positive. It's not gonna have everything that people want, but it has a lot, it seems like. Most does it good. This is a nice looking camera. You got it right, George. Always been like that his now. black tape over because he um, I think that new had to. Will fall in love with oh, and oh, I've been waiting to do this for a few months. So I'm just going to finally look at that. Move this Everybody <laughs> can. George is so excited. The work These are the long. Camera, like I said, filmmaking is definitely more of like my main like, thing. My it's bread not and bad. Butter, so it's just long. I found the experience, especially with be cool the if it was earlier. Was a feature on the previous model. Yeah, that's sick. Internal NDs. That's. 
the internal is dope. Ideas, we should have internal NDs in the XH2S. I'm just watching this thinking all the things I want from this in my camera right now. Can you guys hear Cotton snoring right now? That's so cute. Okay, so here's the exciting part, right? Um, the release date and price of X100. Um, it's going to be uh, fifteen ninety nine US dollars. Fifteen ninety nine. Uh, yeah. Availability end of February at the earliest. End of February. Depending on the market situation. That's pretty good. Comes in two colors. It'd be like a two thousand dollar camera in Canada. Black silver. It's not cheap, like but model. it's not bad. Not only uh, are we what talking about What else you got for us? What else you got for us? A few more things to share today. First is the uh, XF Lens Roadmap update. The last X Summit, um, we uh, updated the roadmap. Uh, so the answer uh, for this demand is the XF 16 to 50, F2.8 to 4.8. Yeah, 4. we knew 8. that was coming. Patrick at Fuji Rumors, he's so got us covered. This is the next covered. generation. Uh, lens, so they're telling us about it, but they're not telling us when it's available. They're not telling us anything to do with how it looks. Oh, there were this many is big. Requests also shutter on the count. Shutter count. So, this is also en enabled. You can check the number of shots taken. Even that's that's fucking awesome. Of the device. That's big. I really like that. Two more information on firmware update. So, two thousand twenty-four. This is what we wanted. Reala Ace is coming years to years our cameras. XH2S anniversary of film simulation. So we will expand T5, the latest film simulation. S20. Okay. So much. That's it. That's our X Summit. We heard everything. What do we think? What do we want to talk about? Oh, wait. One more thing. They do this. They always do this. One more thing. So here it is. X106 limited edition. Three cards special included editions. in special box. The hot they don't normally get me, but that's number. pretty cool. So uh, this will not be the only X Summit in the 90th year of Fujifilm. Yes, Sydney, Australia. Can you tell us when? We'll see you next time. All Bye -bye. right, well, that's that. Is that actually that? One more thing. So I just watched the Fujifilm X Summit 2024 and I have got some thoughts. I wrote some stuff down. I have some notes for you, some big releases here, some not so exciting releases, less than I thought there was gonna be, so let's just get right into it. Okay, the big thing everybody was expecting, it happened, the X106, that's what they're calling it, X106. It's not gonna be the X100R, X106. So right away getting into the specs, one of the big things we wanna know, it's gonna be a 40 megapixel sensor, it's gonna have six stops of IBIS, those are the two big, big changes. We've got 422 10-bit, We've got 6.2K open gate recording, all big stuff. Uh, other than that, everything's more or less the same. You can use all the same accessories with it. It's a 35 millimeter fixed lens. Yeah, I mean, there's not a ton to say about that other than it looks beautiful and it's gonna be really interesting. What else, what else, what else? Oh, touch tracking. There's gonna be touch tracking. That's pretty cool. Uh, the battery life seems fine. 400 shots using the OBF. 310 using the LCD, 270 using the EVF. You got a two-way tilt LCD, so you're still not gonna be able to flip it out, but hey, why would they put a three-way tilt LCD when they could only do two for an unknown reason? Sony does it, Panasonic does it, I don't know why they don't do it. Three-way tilt, make it a tiny bit bigger. Maybe that's why. Speaking of bigger, it's not much bigger. It's more or less the same size, a two millimeter difference and 43 gram difference to be able to get IBIS is sick. It's really nice looking. Uh, and there's also gonna be this super beautiful special edition. I'm down with that. That looks really, I won't get one, but I mean, it looks nice. I probably won't get this camera in general, but I, I would like to have it. It'd be a nice camera to have. That's it, the X106. We've all been waiting and we see it. It's in silver, it's in black, it's in special edition. It's gonna be 1600 US dollars and it's gonna come out at the end of February but you probably won't be able to get your hands on one anytime soon. Uh, unless you can, in which case, sick. And I look forward to seeing the images you make with it because I'm sure it's gonna be beautiful. Um, the people they had speaking about it, George and Jasmine, who are two photographers, as well as Sam Abel, are, they seem like they know what's up. They seem like they like it. And uh, I'm stoked on that. What I'm more interested in is some of the firmware updates though. So we should go through those. Um, 
the other thing they talked about was the XF lens roadmap. They said like, oh, we're gonna talk about our XF lens roadmap. And then they talked about one lens, which is a kit lens. Uh, it, it's probably gonna be good, 16 to 50, F 2.8 to 4.8. We've known this one is coming for a while, thanks to Patrick over at Fuji Rumors, but hey, cool, good to know. Uh, they talked about the X app, some really nice things in there. The most important thing is that you're finally gonna be able to get the shutter count off of your camera using the X app which is gonna make it so much easier if you're looking to sell a camera in the future or you wanna know how many actuations are on it or anything like that. So that's really prime. I, I don't really use the X app because I just, I don't find it's very functional, but hey, that's cool, that's dope. What else do we got here? Um, big firmware updates. Okay, this is the cool stuff. This is what I'm excited about as somebody who already owns a Fujifilm camera is what firmware updates they're gonna be making for their fifth generation cameras that they've put out over the last couple of years. Uh, so a few of the big ones that we're seeing here is in the X-H2 and the X-H2S, which I have here. We're gonna see a red frame around the LCD when you're recording, so you know you're recording. That's super clutch. Right now I have a tally light and that's fine, but having that red frame is just really nice to see. Um, AF improvements generally, but a big one is subject tracking. You're gonna finally be able to have subject tracking on your camera so I can hold something up, I can tap on it and I can say track this and when I move it around, it'll track this rather than uh, not doing that and doing a terrible job of it like it's done in the past. So that's sick, we're gonna get subject detection. Uh, we're also gonna get Reala Ace film simulation coming to the X-T5, XS20, X-H2 and the X-H2S as well as frame IO coming for the X-H2S and X-H2 without the, the file transfer grip, so that's sick. Uh, Reala Ace, I'm excited to use. I, I don't know how much I'll like it or not, but it's always nice having another film simulation and one that we can work with with the sensors we have and see what we can do. That's pretty much it in a nutshell. I mean, that's wrapping it all up for you. Um, what do I think? I think a lot of people flew a very far way to hear about a camera they already knew was happening and some firmware updates. I don't know that this was the most spectacular version of an X Summit that, that we're gonna see this year. I think obviously they needed to release this camera and they needed to make a big deal of it because everybody loved this camera, but it seems to me like probably six months from now, we're gonna see a much more interesting Fujifilm Summit, which is gonna be in Sydney. They didn't say when, but probably three to six months from now, we're gonna see a very cool X Summit where we're actually seeing a lot more things come out, where we're gonna see the, the sort of realization of some of the things that they kind of alluded to and probably some new bodies and stuff like that. It's very late, so I might do another deeper dive into some of this stuff and maybe if I end up picking up one of those cameras, I'll let you know, but um, that's it. So I hope you're watching this. I hope you skimmed through and got to the part you needed to get to and I hope it's not, um, 1 30 in the morning for you because it is for me and now i have to go edit this and then put it out in the world for you so that you can watch it in the morning and and uh i don't have to i'm choosing to because this is fun for me so thank you appreciate you peace